Hi, my name is Mariah Guerin, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to shave your stock before assembling it with hardware. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the edges where the handguard meets the stock all the way down to the rear of the receiver. What you're going to want to do is right about at the front of the bolt, we'll start there, you're going to do this in sections. So you're going to take the razor blade straight flat down onto the edge and you're going to make sweeping motions. This is going to loosen up the plastic and then you're going to get strips just like that. Right, so you're going to have to repeat this a lot, really round out the edge. And the trick is to not apply too much pressure so that you end up getting ridges because what will happen is basically your razor blade will bounce and you'll get some ridges along here so it won't really be that smooth. It's not the end of the world, you can kind of like shave them down but it, it definitely makes for a stock that doesn't feel quite as good. Now as you get the corner taken care of, you can round out, move a little bit more to the side of your stock. You can move back up a little bit more towards the top of your stock. And then what we have here is a bit of plastic right at the end. You can just pull that right off. And then all of this is a nice rounded edge. It's a lot nicer than the, the sharp edge that these stocks come with. If you put it together as is, it'll feel really harsh on your hands and it'll, it'll scrape against your skin. Next, we'll go ahead and do the top section. It's going to be very much the same application. You're going to start in this little corner where the uh, lower band sits. And you're going to do the same thing. All right, get that corner. Move a little bit to the outsides. Move back to the corner. Move on top. Move back to the corner. Round it out. Take that excess plastic off. And you now have a nice rounded finish on this. It's going to feel a lot nicer than that sharp edge when you put this together. So, this is where it gets tricky. These four sections, very easy, very simple to handle on the stock. Once you get further back, you've got a bit more problems. What I usually like to do personally is not follow quite the same approach down here because it kind of curves inward and you can't follow it quite the same way. Right, so what I like to do is take the razor blade very carefully and just shave off the edges. You can see where the edges are raised a little bit on your stock. So you can get right underneath those and you can get a much thicker piece. It's going to look a little bit more like that and not just a shaving. So right down here, let me see if I can get it good on camera. Right down here, you're going to see where the plastic doesn't meet perfectly. It kind of has a little bit of a lip to it. So again, you can just take your razor blade to it, a nice steep angle, and you can shave those bits right off. Now, this is going to take a while to really get that whole thing done. Um, there's a lot of detail around here. It takes a bit to actually get all of this feeling the way that you want to. Be careful though because when you get around to some of these little corner spots, it's easy to dig in the razor blade a little bit too deep and it's a little bit hard to recover. You're going to have to basically cut straight down there, cut out a little section, and then kind of continue on. Try to keep it as straight as you can. So, what you're going to do after you finish this area is move right on down the stock. On the inside here, you're going to have another lip. It's going to be a little bit raised where one side of the stock in the mold met the other a little bit off. And you can do very much the same thing. Support the stock on your shoulder or something. Support it on a table. And you can shape right on up it. I basically cut off that whole lip in one go. Now, to be clear, I've done this a lot of times and I make this look kind of easy. There's a little bit of a learning curve to this. If you're, if the first time you do this it doesn't look good, it doesn't feel as good as, as you wanted it to, don't worry, it, it'll, it'll get better with time, but it's, uh, it's going to feel better regardless. 
So we're just going to take this right over to the back of the stock, do the same thing, a little bit thicker of a piece here. Yep, it's a nice thick piece, but we now have a really flat edge of the butt, right? There's no lip at all. Now, when you get into the pistol grip, there's a little bit of a lip. It's kind of up to you as an individual if you want to try to get rid of that or not. Uh, as far as I know, there's not a perfect way to do it. You can follow the same tactic of shaving at a steep angle into it and then shave at a steep angle into it this way. And then hopefully they meet right about the same point. But what you're going to usually end up getting in here is something of a uh, point where you shave these two pieces into a divot. Now, outside of that, we've got the bottom seam of the stock. Down here, it doesn't particularly matter because this is where your sling is going to be. Uh, but up here, you can see it and feel it a little bit more. This can actually be the same application as the first sections that we did. You can basically take the razor blade flat. And you can just take off strips, make it nice and even. Now, technically, you can do this on the butt of the stock too. It just takes a bit more time. It's a little more labor intensive because it's uh, much thicker lips that you're dealing with. Once you get done with that, nice and smooth again. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one too. I'll have a sling over it anyways, but it doesn't really matter. There we go, nice and smooth. And let's see, other than that, you're gonna to wanna to finish both sides and then do your hand guard. If you do your hand guard, or if you don't do your hand guard and you put it on a stock, your hand guard's gonna feel really sharp next to this. It's gonna pop out a little bit, and then when you hold your stock, the hand guard is gonna rub against your thumb in a really uh, aggressive and agitating way. Outside of that, that's pretty much it. You can, uh, you can sand your stock with uh, 800 grit sandpaper, start there, move up, make it a really nice smooth finish, but outside of that, in terms of shaving, that is the best thing that you can do for your stock before construction, before constructing it. It'll make it feel a lot smoother, it'll make it not harsh on your hands, and it'll make it a lot more enjoyable to draw. My name is Naraya Garen, and this has been a tutorial on how to shave your stock before assembling. Happy drilling.